Okay, you guys, so I just got done with my washing and deep conditioning from my wash day. And now what I'm going to do is try this new um, Haitian black castor oil that I received from Raisin. So number one, thank you Raisin for sending this to me to try and review. So here's another picture of it. I've never ever tried a Haitian black castor oil. I hadn't even heard of it, so I didn't even know. We always hear about Jamaican black castor oil this, Jamaican black castor oil that, and that's all I've ever bought. Um, the brand may vary, but I've always gotten that to help with my thin edges that are forever thin, and that hasn't really worked. So, you know, I've tried all kinds of things, but now we're going to try this Haitian black castor oil. Now one thing I did notice when I opened it up, it smells the same as Jamaican black castor oil. Um, as far as the thickness is about the same thickness as well, unless it's a, a you know castor oil that's mixed with something else. This one is not mixed with anything else. Um, it shows in the ingredients, I don't know if you guys can see that, the ingredients show Racinus communis, in parentheses, raisin. So, um, yeah, and it tells you the directions for how to use it on your body, how to use it on your hair. Now, the directions that they give on this particular bottle for hair is to use as a leave-in conditioner, apply a small amount of oil throughout hair, leaving in overnight. Oil can be added to other products for additional nutrients and nourishment. Address split ends by applying raisin oil to hair end. So that's pretty much it. Um, the directions are short and sweet. Um, the ingredients don't say anything else but raisin. Um, and then it says at the bottom product of Haiti. So I'm going to go ahead and try this. Um, like I said, it's, it's the same thickness as um, the Jamaican black castor oil, and it smells the same. The only thing different that I see so far is it's Haitian, and also on this brand, there's nothing else in it, nothing extra. On the front of the bottle, it says organically brilliant, but it also says no salt added. And you guys, I've never thought about any of the castor oils or black castor oils, Jamaican black castor oils, or even the Haitian castor oil having salt. I never thought of salt being in my oil, but you know, that's something to think about because when I really think about it, I don't want salt in my oil. I don't even want salt in my body. I try to, you know, <laughs> y'all, I don't want none. I, you know, it's hard enough to get rid of extra sodium in your body. So just think about putting sodium on your hair um, yeah it makes you think doesn't it so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and try this out see how it goes um, see if I feel anything different once I massage into my scalp and then I'll be back Okay, you guys, so I've already uh, applied this um, Haitian black castor oil all over my hair. Um, so I finger combed it through. I did put some on my edges because that's what really needs it the most. But I've just done that and I'm going to go ahead and follow up with the cream. So that will make this an LOC method I'm doing right now. I normally do LCO. But because I'm trying a new oil, I wanted to just, you know, flip it around a little bit. So it's whatever you prefer. For me, I like to end with the oil normally. And I may even do that. I may do L-O-C-O, which is something I've done as well, which helped me cut down with single strand knots. And nobody wants that. So I may end up doing that. I'm going to follow up with that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use this throughout the week at night massaging my scalp 
and uh, my edges and you know see how it goes as far as build up and I'll let you guys know at the end of the week what I think so because of the smell of this Haitian castor oil I have decided I'm just going to mix it with two other oils so I'm going to add in some um, organic virgin coconut oil and some um, some extra virgin olive oil um, my issue I'm having with this oil so far honestly it's just the smell it's 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 a bit much for me so I'm just gonna mix these two in thin this out a little bit more add something more to it maybe not make it so strong um, I'm even thinking about adding an essential oil like lavender or something like that to you know kind of freshen it up a little bit but we'll see for right now I'm gonna add these two okay guys so today is Friday in other words Pro Friday as I like to call it which is the day I throw out my hair so because tomorrow's wash day I thought I'd check in real quick just to tell you basically to sum up what I think of this Haitian castor oil by Raisin um, as far as the oil itself it's just like any other castor oil as far as like a Jamaican black castor oil that is what we hear about the most and I'm here in the U.S., so that's what I hear about the most. I hear about Jamaican black castor oil the most, and that's what we tend to use the most when we want to, uh, when we want to help growing out our hair, growing it thicker. You know, it works. So, you know, um, castor oil in general has helped my hair grow. Um, I, I cut my hair all the time, and all the time it grows back. The only problem I have with my hair is my edges they thin out thanks to you know thanks to genes thanks to medication thanks to hormones they thin out they break off and they just go and i don't do anything to it so i wanted to try you know this haitian uh castor oil by raisin just to see if i notice any difference and i know it's only been a week but i'll tell you what i do notice i do notice that it's, you know, to me, it's the same. Castor oil is a castor oil. When you're getting a authentic castor oil, you are going to have that scent. If it hasn't been blended with anything else, you're going to have that scent. That smoky, um, to me, it's a harsh scent. Um, with the Haitian Black Castor Oil by, um, by Raisin, um, I noticed a lot more. It had a little bit more smokiness to me, in my opinion, than a Jamaican black castor oil. Um, and to me, it, it's it's bothersome. I don't like it. I don't like smelling like, you know, someone just smoked a pack of cigarettes around my hair. I just don't like that. So what I ended up doing midway through the week, or maybe it was around maybe Tuesday, um, I decided to mix it with some of my coconut oil and olive oil and so I have a mix here that those other two oils cut down on that smoky smell I can still smell it so what I suggest if you don't like the smell of, of if you don't like the smell of castor oil in general I would suggest using it alongside a leave-in or a cream that's more should I say perfumey um, maybe more perfumey than you would like and with me um, I've been using um, Yale organic products and um, this is not as perfumey as some of the other products but um, there was another scent I can't think of it right now that was just woo, too much it was just too much flowers so pairing it with something like that kind of cuts down on the flowery smell and cuts down on the smokiness of the castor oil so that's what i did to be able to stand it the whole week so i've been using this and i've been using another one of the neo organics creams along with the raisin uh black castor oil and i'm okay with it my hair is okay right now um, i just actually freshened it up a little bit with some of the leave-in and also some of the castor oil I've used the castor oil about, I would say consistently at least four times this week. 
and when I massage it into my scalp, it feels good. Um, I can, to me, I feel like it's working. Um, I, you know, I, I'm not, like I said, I've used many castor oils in the past. I just haven't used Haitian black castor oil. Now, will I continue to use this? Yes, I will, because um, I have thin strands, so I need to just make sure that, you know, I keep my thickness going, you know, because I like big hair and keep my hair growing. Um, I may be coloring it soon, so I need to have it as strong as possible and I need to have my scalp as healthy as possible. And speaking of scalp, I thought I would notice a lot more buildup, but I didn't. So it, I guess it all depends on how much of the oil you use because it's a thicker oil. Some people don't like thicker oils on their scalp because of buildup. But to me, I think it helped with my normal amount of buildup I would have uh, due to oils on my scalp by the end of the week. So, I'm going to con continue to use the Raisin Black Castor Oil. If you want information on ordering your own, I'll have that listed in the description of the box. Again, thank you to Raisin for sending me this oil to try and they sent me quite a big bottle you know they didn't send me a tiny bottle so I appreciate that I appreciate with uh, raisin castor oil for just checking on me so making sure I received my package checking to see how I liked it throughout the week customer service wise they're a plus I you know I've so far I haven't worked with a business that has checked on me so much and really cares um, they did also let me know that uh, I did advise them that, you know, the, the smell is, you know, strong for me, which, you know, is expected with castor oils. Um, Raisin, they did go ahead and address the question, said that they're working on formulating a combination where the scent is not so strong that all the benefits that the Haitian black castor oil gives you is not compromised during mixing with anything so I appreciate that they're still looking to perfect their product even more which means there's so much more to come from Raisin and I'm looking out for it so thank you guys for watching um, if you have any questions you know let me know or if I can't answer them I'll direct you directly over to Raisin but I would strongly consider checking them out if you want healthier hair thicker hair looking to promote growth and looking for a healthy scalp anyway you guys if you've watched this video so far or if you didn't make it to the end through the whole video and you skipped to the end make sure you go ahead and subscribe hit the notification bell leave me a comment share this video if you would like and i'll talk to you later roses